I will follow, I will follow Jesus. I will follow wherever he goes. I will follow, I will follow Jesus. I will follow Jesus everywhere he goes. Praise God, praise God to Shangalia Mwana Yesu Tafadali. God bless you. Please uh, may you take your Bibles if you have them. Let us turn to the book of uh, First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2. I would like to appreciate Pastor Egesa and Sister Egesa the local leadership of the Mongachi Assembly for your wonderful work that you have done and you keep to do, keep on doing. We pray that the Lord will strengthen you with strength that you will do what God called you to do. I, I don't know whether I'm going to have any interpreter here. Yes, sir. Uh, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Can we uh, appreciate with a club offering Pastor uh, Obiero. Uh, Obiero. I know he doesn't come uh, from far from this place. So, Amen. Praise God. And so, let us read from the book of uh, uh, first Peter chapter 2 I want us to read from verse number 1 and we go all the way to verse number 6 wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby if so be you have tasted that the lord is gracious to whom coming as unto a living stone disallowed indeed of man but chosen of god and precious ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ wherefore also it is contained in the scripture behold I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone elect precious and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded or moved Heavenly Father, we humbly stand in your presence asking you to help us. Grant that we have an open heaven and that the weight of your glory will rest on us. We pray that the life of your river will flow and that the truth of your kingdom might reign in us I thank you for these your saints that are hungry to hear from you I thank you for every minister that is here this afternoon for they obeyed your calling as your word says the gifts and callings of God are without repentance 
mwito na ahadi zako hapana kutubu I pray that you help them in their calling Naomba ya kuwa saidie katika mwito wao In their ministries Katika huduma zao Bless the works of their hands Ukabariki kasi ya mikono yao Father we arrest them and we render them powerless Baba sasa tuateka nyara na kufanya pasipo kuwa na uweza They will in no way prevail over this mission Na hapata kuwa na uweso wa wote wa kustahimili katika hudu mahi The business is at hand will not suffer any demonic interference. I subdue every hand of the wicked one. The hand of darkness and wickedness. It has no room upon this ministry. In the name of Jesus, we bring to note every intent and every plan of the devil against us. In the name of Jesus, we bring to note every intent and every plan of the devil against us. We bring to note every intent and every plan of the devil against us. We confess and proclaim the word of God that says no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, every evil scheme of the devil, we disannul it. Every power of witchcraft working against any of these saints under the sound of my voice. We cancel it, O God. We uproot it in the name of Jesus. By the authority vested in me as your apostle, O God. I decree and declare your healing upon those that are sick and the weak will say in the end I am strong the bound will confess and say I am free in the name of Jesus give us an open heaven father Pour down your spirit and pour down your glory. I pray that your Holy Spirit will begin to move. Your Holy Spirit will take control. In the name of Jesus. Once more we say to the devil. Leave this place in the name of Jesus. Leave us alone to do God's work. Let the Spirit of God and the Word of God freely move and prevail in our midst in the name of Jesus. We claim this region for the work of God. We claim this region for the kingdom of God. As I say, the kingdom has come. The kingdom of God has come in Mungachi. The kingdom of God has come in Busia County. And let the enemies of the cross disappear right now. Let the enemies of the cross vacate this a county in the name of Jesus. Every voice that rises up against the purpose of God, may it be silenced and be silenced forever. In the name of Jesus, let not Corona raise his finger against anyone under the sound of my voice. 
in the name of Jesus. Magonjwa ya corona is kainukia yoyote yule ambaye anasikia sauti yangu kwa jina la Yesu. I smear the blood of Jesus upon you, upon your houses in the name of Jesus. Na wafunika na damu ya Yesu Kristo nyumba zenu na watu wenu katika jina la Yesu. There shall no evil befall you. Hapana mabaya yataka yao. No plague come near your dwelling place. Hakuna tofuni itakaye kuja uh, karibu nanyi. God will overshadow you. Mungu atawakinga with his glory. Na utukufu wake. God will overshadow you. Mungu atawakinga with his anointing. Na uh, upako wake. So let the church now Sing songs of deliverance. Na sasa kanisa likaimba nyimbo za ukombozi. We thank you and we bless you. Tunakushukuru na tunalibariki jina lako katika jina la Yesu. And the church say a big amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Mungu akawabariki. You may take your seats. Tunaweza tukaketi. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Shina la Bwana lisifiwe. Peter when he is writing to the saints in his day, ah Petero anapoandikia wateule katika siku zake, he starts off by entreating them to lay aside. Anaanza kwa kuwasihi wakaweke kando malice. Ah mambo ya chuki. Malice. He says lay aside malice. Anasema mkaweke kando chuki. And he says all malice. Ana yani chuki yote. And he says and guile. Ana hasira. Bitterness. Ana uchungu wa ndani wa moyo. He says lay it aside. Anasema ikaondoke kweli. Forget about it. Mkaiweke kando na kuisahau. Don't think about it anymore. And then he says envies. You, you see someone dressed in a nice suit and because envy you start saying some things against him. And he goes on to talk about evil speakings. That is how he sets the tone of his second epistle and then he urges them because they were just newborn babes and he says to them desire hunger and thirst after the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby and he says uh, uh, if so be that you have tasted that the Lord is gracious how many of you know that the Lord is gracious then he says to whom coming to this gracious Lord as unto a living stone. Praise God. Amen. Now that living stone is the stone that the builders rejected. It was disallowed by men but chosen of God my brothers and sisters there are times that people or human beings or man might reject you or disallow you it doesn't mean that God has not chosen you what people do sometimes might be political even in the church even in the body uh, kuna mambo mengi ambayo watu wanacheza hapa chini chini uh, there are many things that people are doing underground but haimanishi mungu aja kuchagua but it does not mean god has not chosen you hallelujah amen so be 
happy and joyful to know that God is the one who has called you and even invited you into his flock. You have not invited me you have not chosen me you have not elected me I am here because the Lord called me kwa hapa kwa kuwa mungu ameniita kwa hiyo ndio mana najisikia uhuru now that is why I feel I'm free wakati nikiwa nyumbani mabwana when I'm in the house of the Lord hakuna kitu ambacho china kinaweza kunizoea uh, apart, uh, there is nothing that can hinder me because i am chosen of god maana nimeteuliwa na mungu you are chosen of god wewe umeteuliwa na mungu and we are the precious saints of god na sisi ndio watu wa maana wa mungu the key verse in this text that we have read lakini mstari wa muhimu katika haya is verse number 5 ni mstari wa tano. And this is what it says. Na hivi ndivyo inavyosema. Ye also not only Jesus is he the living stone. Ah uh, sasa nyinyi pia sio Yesu tu aliyejiwe teule. Your neighbor seated next to you. Ah uh, huyo jirani aliyeketi karibu nawe is also a living stone. There is a difference between you and these stones that have put up this building i have life within me that's why i can say amen you have no life within you that's why you keep your mouth shut but if you are a living stone there is life within you Hallelujah. Amen. A mother can be pregnant for almost nine months. Mama aweza kuwa mjamzito karibu miezi tisa. When it comes to childbearing the day of giving birth. Ah uh, siku ya kumsaa yule mwana The next thing that mother is waiting for. Ah kile kitu kikuu mama anangojea. Oh the husband or the father is waiting for. Ama yule msasi baba anangojea. Is a little cry. Ni kilio kilio that comes out from the baby. Ambaye kitatokana na ule msalimu mwana. If that cry does not come out. Kama kile kilio hakitatoka. The midwife or the doctor. Ah yule um ah midwife ama doctor. Who slap that little child so that the child produces that cry it's not a cry of pain it's not a cry of suffering it's the cry of life hallelujah can i hear the cry of life here can i hear the cry of life in mungachi this afternoon someone say i've got the life of god in me i've got the life of god in me If that cry never comes out. Ah kama kilio hicho hakitatokelea. The doctor will say yes it's a birth. Ah daktari atasema atasadiki kweli kuna kusaa. But it's a still birth. Lakini ni kusaa kuna leta mauti. It's a miscarriage. Yaani ni kama kutoa mimba. Hallelujah. Amen. But I thank God. Lakini namshukuru Mungu. That what we are doing in Busia County. Ya kwamba tunachofanya Busia County is not a miscarriage. Sio kutapia a mimba. It's not a still birth. Sio kusaa kwa kifo. There are living stones in Mungachi. Kuna mawe yaliyo hai Mungachi. There are living stones in Buyangu. Kuna mawe yaliyo hai kule Buyangu. There are living stones in Majengo. Ah uh, kuna mawe yaliyo hai kule Majengo. There are living stones in Kakamega. Kuna mawe yaliyo hai kule Kakamega. There are living stones in Sabatia. Kuna mawe yaliyo hai kule Sabatia. There are living stones in Busia town. Kuna mawe yaliyo hai kule Busia town.
found. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, we are going to close the year 2021 with life flowing within us. Abasi, tutaufunga mwaka huu wa 2021 na uhai ukitirika ndani yetu. And that life will flow like a river. From Busia to Bungoma, that river of life. From Bungoma to Eldoret, that river of life. Kutoka Bungoma, muto utatirika hadi Eldoret. To Kakamega to Sabatia. Kutoka Kakamega ukielekea. From Sabatia to Buyangu. Kutoka Sabatia kuelekea. From Buyangu to Kisumu. Kutoka Buyangu kuelekea. From Kisumu to Kisukericho. Na kutoka Kisumu. There is a river of life. Kutakuwa na muto unatirika wa uhai. And wherever it goes. Life will spring up. Give God a shout of praise like life stones. Do we have living stones here? Do we have living stones here? Do we have living stones here? And so the work of God sit down. And so the work of God in Mungachi will match on. Itadumu. Itadumu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said house of transformation. Uh, uh, house of transformation is not going to die. Kufa. If you are waiting for it to die. Kama unangoje isambaratike. Iyo iyo ni ndoto yamchana. Basi ni ndoto isiyotimia. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If anybody thought that this was a fire from papers, now they know that they don't know. Hallelujah. Amen. I can make my boast in God. We have real men here. That are determined to stand behind this vision. Hallelujah. Amen. We have men here. We have even women here. That even if men won't show up, they will show up. Amen. If men won't pray, they will pray. If men won't preach, they will preach. If men won't evangelize, they will evangelize. Come and give a big praise for our women here. Jesus came. That you and I might have life. John 3.16 The commonly known scripture even from Sunday school. It says uh, God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. Should not perish. But have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Amen. That we should have what? everlasting life. When God created Adam and um, Eve in the garden, God took earth. Did you hear what I say? He took earth. That's right. Uh -huh. or ardi. He took the earth and he made man out of his own image 
and his own likeness made he man but man was like these stones there was no life in him if he could walk he would be called a dead man walking and we have so many people in Busia count that are dead men walking you will run away they are dead men walking there is no life within him it's called the zoe z-o-e the zoe kind of life life coming from God so God our father is the source of life hallelujah Amen. praise God Amen. so that's what Jesus Christ came to give na to restore na maybe before I even come to Jesus God after he had created man then he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and then man became a living soul from living stones to living souls from dead man walking to living stones hallelujah are you hearing what I'm saying lift up your right hand bring it to your chest and beat it and say I've got the life of God in me hallelujah say again I've got his ability I've got his power on the inside of me. Praise God. Amen. You are no longer a dead man walking. You carry the breath of life. And man became a living soul. But sin came in through the back door. Hallelujah. Amen. And then stole that life. The Bible says, In the day that you shall eat thereof, you shall surely die. And so man now was reduced to being a dead man walking. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why when some of you are rebuked, I see some people that are broke. Because of the corona, they lost their jobs. There is some little suffering there. But when I look at them closely, I said, there's still something in there. There's still something in there. Some may go into, through de into depression. Maybe even mental health issues. But I look at them and say there's still something in there. Maybe it's your son or your daughter who's gone to drugs and uh, substance abuse. While some of you write them off. But I come with heaven's scanner. And I say there's still something in there. There is still something in there. Glory be to God. They may be dead men walking, but there's still some little, little something in there. Hallelujah. 
Do I still have living stones here? Do a bado kuna mawe yaliyo hai hapa? So in John chapter 1 verse 4. The basi katika Yohana mlango wa kwanza mstari wa Let's look a little bit about the life giver. Ah tukaongee kiasi kumhusu anayepeana uhai. The life restorer. Ah wale anayerejesha uhai. He came where death was reigning. Ah hata kama mauti yalikuwa yanaenea. The Bible says I believe it's in the book of Romans chapter 5. It says death reigned from Adam to Moses. Ah inasema kwamba kifo kikaenea kutoka kwa Adamu hadi Musa. Even upon those that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression. Ara juu ya wale ambao hawakuwa wamefanya dhambi sawia na Adam. So there was a reign of death. Ah kulikuwa na kutawala kwa mauti. And Jesus comes. Lakini Yesu akatokelezea. The Bible says when he comes. Ah anapokuja. In John 1:4. Ah katika Yohana mlango. It says in him was life. Ah ndani yake huyu Yesu kulikuwa na uhai. Do you feel what I feel here? Ah wewe unahisi ninavyohisi. Do you hear what I am hearing. Ah je wasikia ninayosikia. Can you sense what I am sensing? Je unasikia una unamskuko kama ni God has chosen this place in Mungachi in some village. Ah Mungu ameteua hapa Mungachi katikati ya kijiji. To visit us. Ah ili atutembelee. And leave us with uh, such a powerful revelation. Ah ili akatupokeza ufunuo mkuu. A revelation of living stones. The Bible says in him. Ya kwamba ndani yake huyu Yesu. Was life. Kulikuwa na uhai. Hallelujah. Amen. So I see life in death and death in life. Ah mimi ninaona uhai katika mauti mauti ndani ya uhai. You didn't hear what I said. Ah je umesikia nini? I said I see life in death and death in life. Ninaona sasa uhai ndani ya mauti na mauti ndani ya uhai. Hallelujah. Amen. He was a living stone. Yeye alikuwa ni jiwa lililo But in that life there was death. Ana ndani yake kulikuwa bado na mauti. And in his death there was the life of the resurrection. Naye katika mauti yake kukawa na uhai wa ukuu. Jesus said, I am he that was dead. Ah Yesu akasema basi nani But I am alive. Kufa and alive forevermore. Na sasa ninaishi Death is defeated. Mauti yameshindwa. Death is vanquished. Ah, uh, ma, ma, mauti yameangamishwa. And he rose from the grave with life. Na na yeye akafufuka sawia ya vile watu. And he said the words that I speak. Akasema maneno ninayonena. They are spirit. Sasa ni roho. And they are life. Na sasa ni uhai. He became the epitome of life. Maana yeye ndiye kieleleso cha uhai. The expression of life. Yeye ndiye mkuu wa uhai. The manifestation of life. Yeye ndiye dhihirisho la uhai. To make you and me. Yaani akufanye wewe na mimi. We're dead in our sins. Tuliokuwa tumekufa ndani ya living stones. Tukawe mawe yaliyo hai. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my god my Alleluia, god my god Hallelujah Hallelujah And when we connect together Na tunaposhikamana pamoja When we join our hands together Tunapokamatana pamoja I am extending life to you Ah uh, mimi ninakupea uhai And you are passing life to me Na wewe unanipa uhai Hallelujah Amen When there is communion amongst us Na sasa kuna umoja kati There is life kuna uhai that we are passing on to one another tunapeana mmoja kwa mwingine i did not bring death to you mimi sikuleta mauti kwenu and i will not receive death from anyone na mimi sitapokea mauti kwa i am a living stone mimi ni jiwa lililo hai and wherever i go life must spring up lazima uhai ukachipuke i am not a representative of death mimi siongozi mauti there is no death in my family mimi hapana mauti ndani ya there is no death in my house hapana mauti katika nyumba yangu there is no death in our ministry hapana kifo katika huduma yangu we must give life lazima tukapeane uhai come on lift up your hand and bless the lord inua mkono wako na ukalibariki jina la bwana 
If your neighbor is not lifting up their hand, grab their hand and lift it up for them. Kama jirani yako hainui mkono, nyakuwa huo mkono ukawinue. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give them some life. Awape uhai wa namna nyingine. If your neighbor is dead, give them some life. Kama jirani yako amekufa, mupe uhai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do I have enough living stones here? Jeni na wakutosha wa hiyo hai hapa. Give some life, some energy. Ah, tunahitaji uhai na nguvu ya kiasi. So, kwa hivyo, we do not speak. Kwa hivyo hatuneni to give death. Ah, ili tupeane mauti. We speak. Tunanena to give life. Ili tupeane uhai. When you get the microphone, give life. When you get on WhatsApp, give life. When you are sending someone a message, give life. There are messages I receive from dead men walking. I delete them. And there are some messages I get from continuously from some people. I block them. Because I'm a living stone. I attract and receive life. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord's face shine upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God a better praise. So, redemption in essence is about life giving. That life which was lost at the fall. God be with you. The theme for this mission to Western Kenya. Has been given, has been given as rebuilding the ruins ana ni kuamsha ama kujenga upya ilioanguka ama kuharibiwa you cannot rebuild hawezi ukajenga upya without having built first pasipokuwa kulikuwekwa na jengo awali and then something happens na basi kukawa jambo lilifanyika kwa lile jengo and so kwa hivyo what we want to do first kile tungelipenda kufanya kwa build kwanza tujenge build tujenge to build tujenge to build tujenge not a physical building ah sio mjengo kama huu wa kiasili that is wonderful we'll make sure that it is done quickly ah ukahakikisha kwamba limekamilika kwa haraka but we are talking about a spiritual house ah lakini tuwasungumzie nyumba ya kiroho paul peter says ah Petero anasema and says, you as living stones kama mawe hai, are built up a spiritual house uh, mmejenga mmejengeka mkawa nyumba ule ya kiroho let's lift up our hands ah uh, tukainue mikono yetu lord i hear you say uh, you are building a people of power you are building an army of praise you are building your church i say in agreement with that build your church lord make it strong build your people make them great build your house a spiritual house through us your living stones and make it strong Ah, even in the season of the virus make us strong so father 
Baba, now heal your people. Ah, wasikia watu wako. Restore your people. Uwaponye na uwarejeshe. Overshadow them with grace and truth. Sasa ukawafunike na neema na ukweli. Touch them in a special way. Ukawagusha kwa njia special. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Oh God, I impart spiritual gifts upon them. Sasa nawachilia Bwana. For your glory and your honor. Kwa ajili ya utukufu wako. And all this I pray. In and through the name of Jesus Christ God's strong son and I seal it with an amen God bless you Mungachi God bless you God's face shine on you May he be gracious unto you May his peace be with you. In Jesus' name, in Yeshua Hamashiach. What's name?